Who is Randy? Don't bring anyone mother into this. Your mom in the fucking stand! All right, uh, we did it. That's great. We're back with... The one and only... You Jew motherfucker, you! <laughs> Ari Shafir! Oh, thank you for saying it correctly, uh, yes. We've been so excited to play that drop all day. <laughs> I was like, why are you pausing before I say my name? It's such a weird... Oh, that's it, for yeah. hatred. <laughs> yeah, no. That's not hatred. I mean, what's better than that guy? Yeah. <laughs> what is that from? That's from Goodfellas? It's from Casino. Casino, okay. Yeah, he's talking to Sam Rothstein. Sam, you fucking... You Jew motherfucker, you! Don't you fuck me. <laughs> Did you fuck me, fat so uh, I can't wait for the for the fucking liberal movement to find all Scorsese's old movies. <laughs> I'd be oh like, wait, God. what? <gasps> There's so much to boycott. We were just talking about that. We played a clip of Lou Reed reading uh, porno descriptions, and I can just see the social justice warriors being like, "Well, because we he laughs, zoom his body and he, stab him." He laughs at one point. Right, he's making, <laughs> he, laughs he laughs at black at homeless black women. homeless women. Yeah, <laughs> and they were like, "Well, now they would just be like, you know." He's Lou gay. Reed yeah. hates black. Tight asses pounded hard, wet teens, homeless black women. <laughs> that's beyond. That's so awful. And now they'd be like, yeah, is, it, is it awful? Is it, is it awful though, Lewis? <laughs> A woman who's black, marginalized by society and homeless is something to laugh at? Oh, so we laugh at people getting downtrodden. Mm, okay, I see what you're doing. I see what you're doing there. Because you're rich. You think everyone downtrodden is that's worse right. than you. I get it. That's right. That side of... Is that something to laugh we at? We gotta pull all of his albums and ruin his career. I mean, don't, are you are you kind of going like, what the fuck with how outrageous that shit is now? Some of it's like naughty. It's really and it's crazy. the pressure that's put on everybody to react the same all the time. Right. Yeah. And guys, I've done the... Because the, then we'll know what team you're on. I know, but it's like... It's like normal people have to, in silence, go, hey, can I talk to you for a second? Like, I know. Isn't it crazy what happened to that one guy? Okay, shh, people are coming, people are coming. Yeah. Yeah, and pick up your fucking picket. Yeah. Well, it's crazy with at least the Chris Hardwick thing oh. is that that girl, the, the accuser, just wrote like a blog, essentially. Like it wasn't even a vetted article in a print syndicate. It was like, hey, here's just what I think, and then everything's gone. Everything's just gone. His career is gone. Also, just gone. I don't think anything yeah. he w- gone. did, even in her, the way she wrote it, is <sighs> sexual assault. It's just like, I really want to fuck all the time. And it's like, okay, well, n- no deal for me. She said within two weeks she was doing everything he said. So if I'm to believe that this is sexual assault, that means he must have a power over her. So Chris Hardwick must be some sort of demon or a wizard <laughs> To be able to, in two weeks, force somebody. Maybe he's a pimp with a long-term pimp. It's like crazy. But it's like, nuts. What, 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 Walk away, not, idiot. Whether or not, it's it's, it's like it's not even vetted. There's no due process. Uh-huh. It's just like, uh, this girl says it, and now we don't know her mental state. I know what her mental state is. She's an actress. They're all morons. Every one of them. Even the ones that made it. They're all fucking <laughs> lo- loopy dipshits. Some of them are well-read because they get a lot of scripts in front of them. They are morons. You guys have met actors and actresses. <laughs> the guy actresses are just as bad. Solipsistic garbage. Yes. They think that everyone's Ooh, world is just them. Back to the uh, the Hardwick thing. The one thing that's kind of I realize is the difference now in culture is um, the the when when you fire someone like when you're done with them, that's what they judge you now on is how, how swiftly yeah and and, and absolute and quickly yeah. that is done. So it's like it was that day I think. Uh huh. It's crazy because I'd like to see what happens. It's not my money, so I can't really tell them. But it's I'd like to see what happens if a network just refuses to comment not says not says which i'd love it's like hey we've actually been working with this guy we're friends with this guy for a while um while we figure this out um if it's if it's right that's terrible but we believe in this guy he says no so right now he's our buddy and if we find out that it's that he's lying then you know we'll take actions that we have to but for right now that's been a part of our life for a long time we're gonna stand with him right why not just suspend stuff and investigate Instead of know. just ruin a dude's life without any yeah. investigation, like at to all. To be honest, I, that's all I'd want from any network is just to shut your mouth and let me take the heat, mm-hmm. let the fucking heat come at the person, and not say you can take our job. And Comedy Central, for all they do, good or bad, they are great at just fucking shutting up. Yeah, they don't get they don't they don't get it. involved. In fact, when TJ had his thing, and uh, people were like Comedy Central canceled the show, they put out like, oh no no, that was canceled six months ago. Oh, Don't right. put this on, put this us, on, on <laughs> us. We actually did not get involved, which is, that's great. That's all you got to do. Yeah. Just be like, don't go to you. Yeah. That article is really. Oh, my really God. Weird. It's it's strange. The, you know, look, and I'm not questioning the validity of her claims. I'm not questioning factual whatever, but at least for the public's sake, 
you know, at least if it's in, a, in print, they, they have to vet these people. Fucking idiot. Oh, no. Stupid there fucking moron. There has to be moron. some kind of fact finding. <laughs> Flying with this shit. Fucking idiot. <laughs> Stupid. What, you what just happened? What, you gave me yeah. a trick glass? Uh, he spilled coffee. Is it hot? Coffee. No, it's not hot, but I'm going to stink like coffee. You're going to stink like shit. Ah. Uh, oh, well. You're going to fly home with rotten milk on you. Thanks, buddy. Yeah, but to not even uh, Sorry. explore the claim. Not even explore and it. Just make sure like, okay. that they're right and that she's of sound mind and that this is true. It's just like off, you know, it's McCarthyism. It's a form of uh, social McCarthyism. Accusations enough. And I, I yeah. mean, like, I, I, yeah, I'm on the side of like, these accusations aren't even of something fireable. I don't know what you're saying. What, from the article? Yeah, it's like what she's saying is, even is like, I don't know, he pressured you a lot. And by the way, when he says the first thing he said after she had her surgery was going to have sex, if he said that in front of your mom, the fucking, come on, guys. What's he, he's a sociopath suddenly? If he said it, it was a complete Can joke. Yeah, no, I, when I read it, because I read it, I'm like, that's funny to say. Yeah, yeah, that's exactly. How, then it's then such a harsh line, overboard like, thing to say. It's like, uh, I'll never forget he said it. I'm like, oh, come on. Yeah, that was definitely. That's a comedian <laughs> making a joke to relieve some tension in a room. Right, you just had surgery. So I think what the problem is, know. is that there's no sense of context anymore. It's like you, you said the word that nobody likes and now you're in trouble. You did the thing that nobody likes and it's like, well, what about yeah. context? And they're going for like, there's tons of ways to interpret anything you say or do. Yeah. So what's the worst possible way I can interpret this? Right. Yeah. And no one, what's the worst to me is when comedians don't even look at that and go, hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah. Can we look at what maybe a positive way he might have meant that? Yeah. Like instead of just straight to like, how dare you? Yeah. yeah, it's fucking horrible. It's scary. It's it's kind of scary. It is. Yeah, it is. I don't but like you know, it. Fuck, fuck it. But like, it's I don't know where I don't know. You just got to keep your head down. But it's right. also a form of like ultra conservatism. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, it's no sure. better than being like on the well, other end of, of that course, to be ultra liberal. The like, ultra liberals the are fuck? out of their fucking minds. Yeah, the they, far left is they are far left. That's a good way to say it. They are crazy as shit. Yeah, they're crazy, and they're completely without any reason, and they don't care. And a big reason I think that they act out in this way right now is because. The power lies with the other side. So well, it, it's Trump like, is in office, and he's a big saying. bad daddy, and right. he triggers the shit out triggers of you. Them. But that's not the only power. The other power source is a group mentality, group mob on the internet saying we want this guy gone and having it happen. That's that's more powerful than he, Trump is right now. But he's saying like the motivation careers. is because yeah. the leadership is it's, so. It's saying like we don't line. have the control. Right. So what can we some. control? Yeah, yeah, but then you're entrusting that control to not like leaders of that side, but to fucking dummies. Yeah, normal I mean, there's... people who are the same people that would beat you up because you like the fucking Raiders instead of the 49ers. <laughs> right. Like that's the same level of person from sports to fucking politics. It is like really it's really bad <laughs> the way the like the conduct of of what has become the the I mean obviously both extremes are extremes mm -hmm. and they act like complete fucking lunatics. The far left would eat their young and they'll do like if you don't if you don't respond the way they want you to respond to every situation, that's it. They're 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 fucking they're, they're done the far with you. left when you get your your no far left when you get your partner pregnant. Um, the partner. number one thing they're hoping for is a trans baby. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, please yeah. They're come so on. Crazy. And then the far right. <laughs> the funny thing about the far right trans is that baby. they they coined the ex, the the term snowflake. You know, like that's uh -huh. what they and they're the biggest snowflakes. The Nobody, far right. For sure, yeah, yeah. The most sensitive, easily yeah, offended. Sides. They'll yeah. just lash out at you again, not sharing a perspective. Then they're like, "Fuck Dude, you!" Dude, all these people are double standards. They Sorry, totally. Yeah. No, they totally are. Comics do that too. It's like they they shit on all these people for 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 taking like pride in their victimhood, and then they talk about some yeah. Twitter response to one of their jokes for an hour. It's like, all right, I fucking get on with it. I feel like, like I don't oh, exist mean? in the in this world. I feel like I just observe it. You know yeah. what I mean? Like, I'm just, it's just walk back Matrix style. I'm like, Whoa, yes, what? exactly. What? Wait, so you're saying like, oh, the victim comedian that's like doing the whole, I this thing happened to me and I'm the victim, and then how? But then it's how dare you? Oh yeah, no, not even that. I just mean comics talking about like, I mean, you had it with retard, <laughs> you know? Or <laughs> it's like at some point, like, all right, get back to jokes. Let people don't don't us also be the ones saying, but I had it hard because of this. Yeah, yeah. Because they came at me oh, after this yeah, joke. Yeah. It's like. Let them just go on with it. Go on with it. Yeah, yeah. Just ignore them. I guess that's the key. It's fun for go promotion, but it. like, if yeah. it's if it's a real like, how dare they? It's like it's fine. Let them. 
let them let them act. Let them out. be angry. Yeah, Eleanor said this course. once. Like people walk walked out of my show and I'm like, yeah, Eleanor, you're harsh. You want a couple people walking out, or it's too safe. Right. You need those people. That's true. They, they I, make the rest I, of the people enjoy well, you. Well, I, I, I tried to not engage this for a long time, you know? Oh, no. Really? For sure. Well, you know what my dad always told me. What? Can't ignore a retard. <laughs> okay. Come I on, do. Come on, I, come on. I, it's I do. It's about the Holocaust, you guys. You got to allow that. <laughs> oh, my gosh, yeah. <laughs> I do wonder what the actual numbers are of people that are genuinely offended by things. Yeah. Or I want to that... ask people, like, are you, okay, I'll, I'll stop, but let me, just tell me the truth. Once. Are you offended or are you trying to get offended? <laughs> right. Which one is it here? Or do you want. Or who's you really want the, that pissed off? Do you like, want to feel the applause uh-huh. of the people who hear you say that you're offended? Yeah. Because then, then they think of you as this righteous. Yeah. Crusader. Yeah. 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 When Tig goes, I don't know what Louis C.K. was thinking. It's like, well, you could, I mean, you have his number. The better way to find <laughs> out is not to just do it in interviews. It's just to call the guy. <laughs> like, what were you thinking? When you have a direct path to an answer, you fucking phony, <laughs> fucking climber. Get the fuck out of here. Oh, my God. <laughs> Shut up. What are you in I had no Ari? idea. I had yeah. no idea the whole time. You fucking heard everything we had. We heard when you were doing your fucking show with him and getting your show on the air. Fucking bullshit. Well, now that I know, oh, I'm snap. glad my show is canceled. You can always just cancel your own show. You can just say, I'm not doing my show anymore. Yeah. You have that power. I'm so glad this is now. It's, I'm able to. Fuck, shut up. Shut up. Interesting. Everyone's a hypocrite. Yeah. Well, yeah. That's interesting, isn't it? Hmm. 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 I mean, I'll go by Janine Garofalo, who was like, yeah, I heard it. we heard about Louie. I was at that fucking festival. We all laughed about it. You guys, it's a different time, and he's a different person than he was then. We heard about it, and our response was laughter. That's Janine Garofalo. Yeah. And now you're being like, how dare you? It's like, we heard it then. Uh, during the time it happened, we weren't as harsh as you guys are now. Right. So, like, w- suddenly we're supposed to be mad about something that happened a long time ago? <sighs> you know what? I'm trying to think of when this started, and I'm texting with a friend of mine who's a professor at a university. And he says to me today that the students are now asking him to give them trigger warnings yeah. in his lectures. And asking if they can read their own books because they don't want to read what's being assigned. Dude. And that some woman wrote an open letter to the dean. Open com- letter. Complaining that he, they were assi- they were assigned to read Shakespeare and that um, that, that, that that is part of rape culture. And you go, well, how did this get slick? Where, is, this, is this because of this veal generation, this millennial <laughs> generation raised so, so stringently that now they're adults and they don't understand how the re- real world functions because their parents have fucking mollycoddled them and put helmets on them and made everything safe and secure and now they're in the world and they can't fucking deal. I, don't think, I think when they what get to college, they start doing that. I think, have you ever done safe space rooms? Meltdown? No. Stuff like that? Oh, is that what they're called? Yeah. Yeah, safe space rooms. <laughs> I thought that was alt comedy. Is that what uh, we're calling there's it? There's a high overlap for sure. But uh, there's, <laughs> Wait, so deep Meltdown was a safe space room? For a while, they had it as a safe space room. And it was it called that? Uh, it could just be the individual shows that got, got booked. Yeah, that's the genre almost. They have like urban nights. They have safe space. It's shows. like okay. nothing is going to offend you? Yeah, you just can't do anything there. I don't even, I mean, sure, it's, it's do weak. You know but about, it's, it's funny it's, there's that t- two hours ago, I guess, so I'm thinking about his, his catalog. Chappelle stopped in to Meltdown and did like that first round of like trans stuff. stuff. Uh And that's where that like big blog blew up, came out. She was like, I was there and I was just, (laughs) I was initially excited to see who I thought was a great comedian. But then. Oh, you want to hear something funny about that? Mm. Um, uh, A friend of mine was like, yeah, I was there uh, when he did that, you know, because it's half comics. Yeah. 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 Uh, And he was there. I was there and I was sitting next to. The person who wrote that blog, and she was dying laughing the entire <gasps> time. Yeah. And then later, it's like, well, hold on, how can I get? I mean, I used to get that with the Amazing Racist stuff, and people were like, how dare you? And if I if I like actually call, write them back like a human, I was like, come on, come on, those aren't. That's not real. It's fucking calm down. They'd be like, well, I have to admit, I, I did kind of kind of laugh from the first when I saw it. I'm like, and then you went to a fucking rage and say you hope I die from from laughing at first. Yeah. So it's all r- ridiculous. Wait, but what were you gonna say about the safe space room? Is oh, there... so they do this. What was I gonna say about it? They a do these safe, safe rooms. Space. They're fine with me to to put on. It's just like I don't know if that's if you're really kind of don't want comedy that infringes on that at all. It's fine to have those rooms. So college is that safe space room. But just know that if I now go to a club, I'm not gonna get that. Yeah. So like once you're out of here in college, you're, you're going to it's going to be real world again. But it's okay if you just want a nice fun bubble to like you know. But I it's kind of to... silly that they even provide that for you though cuz oh, it's not so, so it's stupid. not preparing you. 
for the real world no. at all. Well, in other ways it is. How so? I mean, learning how to put put memos in your boss's desk. It, it prepares you for like legit things. Well, yeah, but I'm saying it doesn't prepare you. The safe spaces. The safe spaces. No, that prepare doesn't prepare you. you no. Yeah. <laughs> it's just a safe environment in which you can learn, I guess. But. Like that a one girl at like Yale or Princeton a few years ago who was like, I'm the boss of Isaac. Like screaming in oh, the yeah. professor's face. Because he suggested something that, you know, He's like, I'm her. also supposed to be safe. Why yeah. are you yelling at well, me? That's, so how do you know what's a safe thing and what's not going to trigger somebody? Yeah. Let's say I one time choked on cookies as a child, <clears throat> and you mentioned that you had cookies for lunch, and now I'm triggered the fuck up. Yeah, I always want to know what the line like, was, what percentage what's... of people had to have been through something before you can... Can you talk about murder if someone's been murdered? Can you talk about... like what? Well, what's not triggering to yeah, people? I know. A lot of things trigger. And it's also like, you know, you might get triggered. I, I don't know. No. <laughs> what, what's triggered? Does that do you mean a memory of something? Emotional, yeah, an emotional association with something maybe in your I past. I mean, dude, and then... so I went to see at Panorama last year. I went to see uh, um, the, the festival, Panorama. Me and Soder went uh, right from Montreal, and, and Nine Inch Nails was playing. And mm -hmm. I just had a friend hang herself, like, mm -hmm. three weeks before. Oof. Yeah, and he started doing Hurt, and he does it so well, and I am bawling. Just because of the, are the lyrics because of? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everyone you love goes away in the end. Oh, and just yeah. like, it's just so sad. And fucking Big J's daughter's right next to me just staring at this adult fucking crying with flip flops on. <laughs> and, uh, but like, yeah, I guess I was triggered into thinking about, about people yeah. that were important sure. to me and that made me sad. But like, Do you feel that's stupid? not so bad. Yeah. Like what you're allowed to be true. It's okay to be that. It's fine. You can be right. They're just feelings, yeah, and they pass. And it's like okay, we were allowed wants to. Everybody wants to feel. I think it's also you know part of this is a generational pushback on the fact that care about different things. Well, no, that the generation before us, like our parents, mm -hmm. were raised, and the whole world was like, if you were Deal like, you it. know, I'm yeah, I'm, life's not fair. This is hurting right now, me emotionally. They're like, what are you fucking stupid? Like, yeah, that's the word they use, stupid. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, sure, Tom. That's for sure the word that what was What word used. did they use, Ari? What did they use? What word? <laughs> it was like maggot, but different. <laughs> what? Hmm. It's the negative, like if somebody calls you a maggot. No, but, but like it's harsher. true because they, you know, they didn't know, they, didn't, they never knew to be emotionally aware, basically. Right. So if you're like, something's bothering you, you wouldn't express it. They wouldn't get it out of you. They wouldn't coach you through it because they weren't raised like that. And then right. we move into the right. era where they're like, hey, you can be really in touch with feelings and emotions, and then that gets heightened so much to overcompensate yeah. for an entire era Maybe. where nobody did it. It feels like that's almost kind of well. Then up that's that. our fault. Then the Gen Xers have raised the millennials. The Gen X, we're Gen X. We were raised by that generation that was like, "Fuck it, soldier on, put your head down, don't talk about your feelings." So we fucked up the world basically. Then because then us. we raised our kids to be like, "You need to have feelings. This is a Ugh. safe place." Wear a helmet when the you ride your bicycle. Just an, it's an extreme. It's too much. It's the extreme. Oh, it's too yeah. much. It's yeah. just terrible. By the way, don't call me a gen. I was born in '88. I don't know what year you're. You're an born Xer. In. You're on the. You're on the last gen X, year of gen X. X. Not not millennial. Gen X. Yeah, that's you're Nirvana, an X. bro. I'm younger than you. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs>